Lawrence, the mayor of Petaluma, and it's nice to be here at the Aquas Cafe. We're here on the second Tuesday of the month. The Aquas located at 2nd and 8th Street, and they're just wrapping up one big event here, and people enjoying a uh, favorite brew along with a good dinner at the Aquas. And with us, of course, is the proprietor of the Aquas, John Crowley. And, John, thank you for letting us be here on the Tuesdays um, that we visit the Aquas. Always a pleasure to have you here, David, and also the other days as well. So and I know you're here sometimes on other days as well, not just Tuesday evenings. No, I, I, I realize that. You're here day and night and around the clock. And uh, this is a community gathering place. And you keep track of all of the events that are taking place in the community. First of all, tell us about the event that took place here today because it was a large turnout that Absolutely. just preceded us. And I understand this is something that's going to be happening regularly. Well, we look at ourselves less of a cafe, more of a community center where we provide everything, um, events, um, conversation cafes. We had a Hungarian language group. We can, you can come and have dinner with the mayor if you want. But tonight we had a very, very interesting thing. Uh, my friend Karen Garber set up uh, a thing called Death Cafe, which is a serious and honest conversations about something that will happen to all of us. Um, and it's important that we, we talk about things that we shouldn't normally or that traditionally are taboo to subjects to talk about. So we were delighted to have, I think, 37 people here tonight um, in, in groups of, of six or eight people around tables talking about death and how it's affecting us and how to deal with it. And that is going to be, I'm going to show you the, um, the flyer for it. It's going to be a monthly event and it is going to be on uh, the second Tuesday of every month. Uh, okay, okay, so is, is this talking about uh, preparing emotionally? Is it talking about financial planning? Is it all of those things? Tell us exactly, because death is a huge subject, and later we're going to talk about the beginning of life and quality of life and health care and how to give your baby a best shot at living a healthy life, and we'll talk to ladies about breastfeeding. So we get the whole thing, and we also have a young man with us that's nine years old that is going to tell us about sustainability and why we need to make sure that we implement sustainable policies, because he's going to be here for a mighty long time sure. yep. where you talk about death i'm age 65 i don't know how old you are but uh i know statistically i won't be here all that much longer all right so let, let's talk about this what is it uh well tonight's conversation was about all aspects of debt about death and as you say financial emotional uh how to prepare for it um how you want to get buried if you want to get buried I, I've always kind of thought that I want to get buried in, in a, a cotton sack with a hole in the ground with uh, an apple tree growing on top of me. And that is illegal. You cannot do that, um, you know, on, 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 um, in um, cemeteries. So there's a lot of change happening, and I think it's really, really useful to start the change with the conversation. So the, what's, what's illegal, the apple tree? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> it could be. I'm not sure. <laughs> no, but as far as I know, you have to get buried in a box or something like that. The whole, the, 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 uh, this old tradition of uh, just getting buried in a cotton, plain white cotton sack. That's what I want. All right. So, uh, you know, I never knew that about John, but you find out all sorts of things. We've talked about uh, death, and that'll be an interesting discussion, I'm sure, that'll happen here. Uh, and people can have dinner, and that's the second Tuesdays of the month. Um, so, anyway, um, let's go on and talk about what community events are coming up, because uh, one of my favorite is coming up on, actually, August 24th, and this will be on just about the time for the first time that that event happens. And it's a Taste of Petaluma. Yes, the Taste of Petaluma. I've been trying to find the flyer for it, and I do not have it, but it's uh, one of my favorite events, too. I'll definitely be going this year. Uh, it is in aid of... The Cop uh, sorry, it's in aid of Cinnabar Theatre, um, the, the, the local theatre we're blessed to have in our community. They do such fantastic productions. Uh, I went to see an old um, Irish production of it about a few months ago. Um, oh, I can't remember. Remember the guy who wrote uh, Angela's Ashes? What was his name? Frank McCourt and his brother. They've been doing this wonderful, Frank's passed on now, but they did this wonderful, um, how would you call it, a series of vignettes about Ireland, and, and they put it on the Cinnabar, and it, it really did bring a tear to my eye. <laughs> it's quite wonderful. And they're already putting together next year's season, one of the plays that they're doing is one of my favorites, it's Of Mice and Men. I love that play, yes. and I, to yeah. see it in a small, intimate theater that seats 100 people, where every seat is a good one, 
Uh, that is going to be, uh, I think, a good experience. And they have a new uh, director that has come over from uh, the Berkeley Repertory Theater. And so I think he brings uh, a fresh perspective uh, to what can be accomplished. And sometimes that's important just to get new blood in there because people will come in and look and say, well, have you done this? Mm -hmm. And maybe they haven't. And maybe it turns more stones and sure. turns up a good time. Yeah. yeah, I'm looking forward to that, too. I know that the whole, I saw the season. I'm looking forward to it, too. And I'll probably see you at some of the shows. All right, so... Uh, well, that's August, August 24th, and I think it's August 24th is a Saturday. Starts uh, pretty much all day. Is it, is it like noon? Starts at noon, I think? You know, this is going to be a huge eating day yeah. for me on August 24th <laughs> because there's a taste of Petaluma, and then at night there's... Uh, Fandango That's, and this is, yeah, this is just, uh, <laughs> okay. You got that. Exactly yeah, here. this is the, this is the Fandango. Uh, I unfortunately cannot go to that. I've got a prior engagement, but this is something that I've I've wanted to go to, but it didn't work out this year. But this is uh, the the Fandango, which is in aid of the. Um, it's a it's a fundraiser. Uh, in a um, the Friends of the Petaluma River are putting it on, and it is their main fundraiser all year. And it is on the 24th Saturday, and that's where are my glasses? Here they are. I've got I've got the right ones this time. Starts at uh, 5:20 in the afternoon, goes through till pretty much 10 o'clock at night, and it is down at the David Yearsley Heritage Center. Uh, that's the first time they're going to hold it there. And um, I'm sure it's going to be a blast. It always is. So be there and support the friends of the Petaluma River. Okay, and it really is a blast. And so you can see the challenges that I have because I'm on this ridiculous diet. I have lost weight, and I need to lose some more weight. I get it, you know. So I'm trying to get down to my talking weight. And <laughs> here you get <laughs> <laughs> about 20 pounds to go. So here you got this day-night doubleheader of food from a sample of a taste of Petaluma, all the restaurants in town. And that starts, as John mentioned, right around noon. And so you can eat your way through Petaluma and then just... Uh, you know, walk on over or roll on over to uh, the David Yearsley Center for the Moonlight Fandango, and I'll yeah. be there. Yeah. And they have great food at that event. They just always do. Yeah, I'm going to miss it. You'll have to tell me all about it. I will. Okay, so what else is going on? So we've got, uh, what have we got here? We've got Petaluma Readers Theater are putting something on. They're um, a great group of people. August 23rd, 24th, I'll uh, hold a fly around for you. Childhood Revisited, Scary and Strange and Wonderful Stories. Um, you probably you probably recognize some of the, the players. I know Lauren Bell, Terry uh, Kolke, Matt McGuire, and Jennifer March are the Petaluma Readers Theater, and I'm going to hold that up for you there. And it is it's actually in the Petaluma Arts Center. Uh, I believe it's Friday and Saturday, 23rd, 24th, and tickets are ten dollars. Gets you in the door. Okay, so that's good. Hey, one of these times I want to do a, a reading of one of those. That would be fun. I uh, actually did that in college, oral interpretation. A lot of fun. You did? Okay. Absolutely. Really? Okay, well, probably had a lot of fun in college. Where'd you go? San Diego State. And I did have a lot of fun in college, and my grades prove it. Okay, so what's <laughs> next? Okay, I won't ask anymore. Um, I think we're going to have, this is just going to be a broadcast probably when this happens, August 20th, Tuesday, August 20th. Aquas Community are putting together a mixer. We do mixers gatherings once a month, and they're very they're themed on on different topics at once a month. And this is, uh, this month is all about growing. So if you are in the business or the pleasure of getting food from the land to the table, uh, show up Tuesday the twentieth at seven o'clock between seven and nine. We I always kind of think that businesses, societies, cities do a lot better when people are more connected. You know, the more connected you are, the more people you know, the better, better business flows. So part of part of this uh, this is to make uh, part of one of my kind of agenda things is to help make Petaluma one of the most connected cities on the planet, um, because that translates into social capital when people know each other. Okay, well, um, I gotta ask my friend here, Iden, about this. Uh, this is like a pop quiz because, but I think this is right in Iden's wheelhouse. Iden is nine years old. He's a student, uh, I believe, at Grant Elementary School, if I remember correctly, going into fourth grade there. And um, Iden, what do you think about that? Um, the Aquas Cafe, along with uh, Whole Foods and Petaluma, gonna have an event on Tuesday, August 20th. That'll be from seven o'clock until nine o'clock, and it's all about gathering and celebrating the local bounty. That's right up your um, uh, in your wheelhouse. You love sustainability and local issues, don't you? 
Yes, I do. And I love growing things in my garden and growing organic. No genetically modified organisms or ho- hormones or anything to artificially do something to them. Growing naturally with the way Mother Nature wants it to go. See, wow. uh, you know, he said it exactly the way we all need to say it. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Uh, all right. So what else is going on in the community? So we've got um, our big event. We're, we're putting on the Petaluma Palooza. Oh, I, I need to put the microphone in front yeah, of you. Put, put the microphone over there, sorry. Petaluma Palooza. It's a, a, a gathering of nonprofits, businesses, uh, individuals, anybody with something to share uh, to share with everybody in, in Petaluma. We want to get that out, get your message out. Maybe you're a chess club. Maybe you're a, a, a Fortune 500. Do we have any Fortune 500s in Petaluma? Uh, maybe a Fortune 1000. I, I, don't, I don't know where it peaks out, but, you know. I'm not sure. I don't know. Anyway, just just something to think about. But uh, this is kind of like a um, it's a community expo. Is how we how we like to. I'll, I'll turn this around. A community expo. It's Saturday, the twenty first of September. I'm reading through this as you can see that, um, and it starts at noon. It goes from noon to five o'clock, and it's over by the Petaluma train station. Um, it is also the Petaluma Arts Center and the Visitor Center, and it's. Businesses, nonprofits, people just wanting to get and share, get get their message out and share what they have to share with the Petaluma and, and, and show, show the best parts of Petaluma. I think you were there last year. I hope you come again. I, I actually, I'm going to be in Chicago. <laughs> so, um, oh, tasting Petaluma's finest beer, I'm sure, isn't it? You know, I, I, Are you going to go and visit the, the, the brewery? Actually, I'm going to visit my brother who's sick. But um, I had hoped to go to Lagunese, but today the plans kind of started to get uh, morphed on me and changed, so I'm going to miss a Lagunitas. Can you believe that? No, I, I thought that's what you were going there for. <laughs> <laughs> there are other reasons to visit Chicago. It's a nice city, and you're good, good you're visiting your brother. But, yeah, um, yeah I hear their, their Lagunitas are setting up a whole brewery over there. So. They are, but they're never leaving Petaluma, no, ever. I'm, no, 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 I'm no, no, they're not. I know that. Um, also on the agenda, we've got the 16th annual Progressive Festival, and that's on Sunday the 15th. Starts at 12.30 and goes till 5 p.m., so Sunday the 15th. And there's quite a lot, a great lineup. We've got Jill Stein and Daniel Ellsberg are going to be the main uh, speakers. Um, that's always, a, always an interesting thing. There's a lot of, lot of good information that's coming out of there. We're going to have speakers on immigration, GMO. Um, Fukush- Fukushima incarceration and Unite Here and I'll definitely be going to that that's in Walnut Park the corner of Petaluma Boulevard and D Street and I'm just going to hold this up so that you can see that and zoom in on that and you got it? perfect All right. Um, also I wanted to make sure that people know the, about, that you know about these guys the, the, the Petaluma Animal Shelter um, on Aquas News, you can go to aquasnews.com, and each week we put out um, the, the, the animal of the week that needs a home. And I'm going to turn this around. Here's Jimmy. Jimmy needs a home. Beautiful dog. They have, um, th- it's a great organization over there. I think it's, it's uh, Sue Davy. Is, is, am I correct? Yeah, you, you, know, you know them, yeah. Sure. Um, Mari Fasoni uh, is a dog trainer over there and does a lot of work with the dogs. Okay. Uh, we go over there every month and tape a segment for the oh, animal right. shelter. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, did. I, I knew that, but I didn't know it was every month. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Well, Jimmy needs a home. Um, call up 778-PETS and see whether Jimmy has found a home or not. Um, two, two, of the two things coming up uh, I want to also get in is... Um, Mentor Me Petaluma, great organization who uh, provide mentors for, for kids who need mentors. Um, and that is over at Lagunitas Brewing Company. Again, it's a, it's a fundraiser. Lagunitas is just wonderful. They have so many fundraisers. i um, not sure what we do without them. But uh, join the uh, Mentor Me Petaluma at Lagunitas Brewing Company, Tuesday, August the 27th. Again, that's 5.30 to 7.30. So, sorry, 5.30 to 8.30, and that is in aid of uh, Mentor Me. A oh, little, little higher. Yep, yep, perfect. Good. Got it. Tickets, I believe, are 15 at the door, 15 in advance and 20 at the door, but always a, always a good uh, uh, cause, so please be there. And then this event, this is, uh, 
big, fantastic big poster. You go to this event. I know I go to this event. This is the Carousel Fund. I'm just going to uh, make sure that everybody knows about it. It's October 5th. It, it's usually October, uh, the, the first weekend in October, and sometimes I can't go because I'm an October 6th baby. So sometimes it's, eh, it's my birthday, and, you know, I don't celebrate the birthday. Some of the, anyway, so. Well, that's a great this place year, to celebrate your birthday. It is, it is. But I'm going to celebrate it on the 6th on the Sunday, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to this one on the 5th. So I'll, I'll do a, a, a two-day celebration. Maybe Big Bad Voodoo Daddy will play, ha play happy birthday for you. <laughs> I hope he does. Okay. Well, that's pretty much, David. I think you've got a couple of things here that you want to, or maybe do. No, we'll get, you, you covered it. Yeah, I wanted to make okay. sure. Wonderful. Good. Well, so, that's it, I think, from, from our perspective. Uh, do uh, go to aquasnews.com. You'll find out a whole bunch of information about the community, Petaluma community there, also about the things that we have going on in the cafe. Again, we're, you know, we're a community center. Uh, Karen came to me last um, month and said, how about setting up this death cafe conversation? And I said, absolutely. And this is what I want this place to be. It's, it's a conversation space. It's a meeting space. It's a gathering space. It's a community center um, for all walks of life, for, all, for everything. It's a lively cafe, even if the <laughs> subject is death. Okay, so <laughs> with Wonderful. that. I like that. Okay, David. All right, thank you. That's John Crawley, the proprietor here Life at the is such a breezy game. I love all kinds of weather, long as we're together. I love to hear you say my name. I love good wine, fine cuisine. Candlelight, don't you know I love the sea? Now, baby, you know just what I mean. Oh, you know just what I mean. Baby, you know just what I mean. I love being here.